have to sail on the high seas to find treasure. Just a short cab ride on the Yarra will take you to South Wharf Promenade, Melbourne's newest Epicurean hotspot. Straight ahead, Captain. I found out about South Wharf Promenade by picking up a free copy of Hotspots, which is available from the Melbourne Visitor Centre and other cafes and shops around Melbourne. And while I'm arriving by water taxi, South Wharf Promenade is only a 10 minute walk from Federation Square and it's also easily reached by car or public transport. You'll find it along the river between the Melbourne Convention and Exhibition Centre and the Hilton South Wharf. After six years of planning and restoration, these historic cargo sheds are ready for their next life as a collection of irresistible restaurants. Now all we have to decide is which ones to visit. Let me help you out by showing you the sharing house. It has an elegant yet funky fit out featuring $12,000 worth of Lego and an AstroTurf wall. The food is full of fun too. Chef Mark Briggs is a former Feudemont head chef and he's making food that's good to share and great to eat. I love how you've taken the retro classics and you've really tricked them up. Can you actually take us through some of the dishes? So we've got the Spanish mackerel fillets wrapped in some sourdough. And we also have things like a rabbit and cauliflower popcorn. And things like the ice cream cones, just six different flavours of ice cream. Just brings a smile to everybody's face. Well, it's bringing a big smile to my face. And I don't feel like sharing this with anyone. Well done. Before you know it, it's time to pick up the bill and make your way next door to Akachochen, which is named after the red paper lanterns that hang outside traditional Japanese izakayas. This modern Tokyo-style bar focuses on sushi and sake, and the head chef is ex-Nobu, so you know you're in for a treat. As well as sushi, there's a range of tempting appetizers, salads, grilled items and simmered dishes. But the dish they're all raving about is the chicken wing dumplings. It takes all day to make these little beauties and it's well worth the effort. They're delicious. Olive green tiles and terracotta pot plants set the mood at Bohemian, a lively Spanish bar and restaurant which looks like it could be on a laneway in Spain. The dramatic interior features high ceilings, long velvet drapes and a central screen showing foreign movies. In the kitchen, a Spanish chef poached from New York with Michelin star experience is creating tempting tapas, perfect paellas and a range of interesting modern interpretations of classic Spanish cuisine. And for the most up-to-the-minute news on what's happening in the kitchen, keep an eye on the blackboards above the bar which list changing specials all throughout the evening. Along the wharf at Melbourne Public, you'll find a venue with a bit of a split personality. There's fun, footy, live music and pub fare at the front bar and some more serious foodie action in the glamorous restaurant at the back. Chef Justin Dingle Garcia brings flavours from more than 20 years of travelling and working in Asia, so his pork and prawn pan fried dumplings are quickly winning critical acclaim. We've shown you just four of the fantastic new restaurants down here at South Wharf. There are others already open and even more still to come. And remember, if you can't decide where to dine, you can always come back again, again and again. If you'd like to know more about restaurants at the South Wharf Promenade, then log on to the website.